Chapter 8, We Can Do It! It was late in the evening when the rehearsal ended. Pucklebell Penguin complimented everyone on how hard they had worked. I know my opera is in good hands with all of the talented friends I have, he said, smiling. Where will we perform it? Nina Ballerina asked excitedly. Pucklebell Penguin's smile faded. That's something I should have told you from the beginning, he began. He hesitated and then continued. I don't know where we will be able to perform the opera. We need a concert hall. The music friends all let out a disappointed... There was silence. I'm sorry, Pucklebell Penguin said. It is a problem I have been working on, but I have not found a solution for it yet. He turned to leave. Just then, something slipped out from the musical score and fluttered to the ground. Clara! Mozart Mouse cried. This is your letter. You never opened it. You should open it now. Beethoven Bear suggested. No, it can wait, Clara said politely. Please open it now, Pucklebell insisted. Clara tore open the letter and read it. As she did, a big grin spread across her face. She swished her tail excitedly. Pucklebell, she purred. I think your worries are over. This letter is from my good friend, Elgar E. Elephant. He writes that he is the manager of the new concert hall in the city. He was wondering if I might know a group who would want to perform there. Oh, my! Pucklebell sputtered. Oh, my! This certainly is good news! How can we reach him? He asked. As luck would have it, Clara said, he is stopping by to see me the day after tomorrow. She thought for a moment and continued, I have an idea. Why don't we show him part of your opera? We could do one of the songs we rehearsed today. That's an excellent suggestion, Pucklebell Penguin agreed. Could we meet early tomorrow morning? We need to rehearse more. I want everything to be just perfect. Everyone agreed to meet bright and early the next day. They were so excited to perform part of the opera, yet a little nervous too. They all went home to get a good night's sleep in preparation for the long rehearsal tomorrow.